Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to buy and prepare fresh flowers, how to prepare them for water, how to prepare them for arrangement, how to clean them, how to cut them, and then we're going to make some beautiful flower arrangements. Come on, let's go into my kitchen. Now before we go anywhere, I just want to show you some things about these flowers that I bought and how I know that they're fresh. So I want you to take a good look at these flowers. I'm going to open them up. I haven't, I haven't looked at these yet myself, except in the grocery store. So we're going to learn about these flowers together. But I'll tell you how I picked, their, picked them by their freshness. Cameraman, can you come close? If you look inside here, you'll see that all of these little knobs, I don't even know what they're called, are very tight on the inside of these daisies. Now these are daisy chrysanthemums. You can see it's a little bit greenish. Around the edges, you can see the, the little yellow things are starting to pop. So that's one good way to tell on anything that's like a daisy, is that very tight, tight center. And the older they get, these little yellow things will start to pop open. And by the time they're open all the way in, they'll open from the outside in, you know that that, that flower is really finished. So when you buy flowers, look for that. Let's see, here's another, another one. You can see the yellow has started to open already. So that's what you're going to look for. And it's going to be the same thing in the Gerber daisies. The Gerber daisies, when you look inside, all of that furriness in here, when this flower is completely open, the whole thing will look like this pink right around the edge of the center. So as it opens, these will come out. And when this is all the way filled with these, the flower is done. As far as the roses go, the way you want to tell a rose is you want to give it a squeeze. And if it's really mushy, it's not a good rose. So these roses are nice and firm. I know they're fresh. Uh, well, let's open when we look at the snapdragons. We'll take a good look at them as we open them up. But I'm going to unpack them now so we can get a look at the stem. Okay. So here we go. Now I'm using my regular knife, my designer's knife, which is, uh, I think, I, I don't know if I told you this before, but it's, it's just a Swiss Army knife. <clears throat> so it's a good way to give flowers a cut. If you don't have this and you don't absolutely need it, you can use a paring knife or you can even use clippers. Now I have my floral clippers here, which are great. But you don't need these. If you have kitchen shears, they'll work just as well. So I'm going to go through. Now this rose has already been cleaned. You can see that. Um, I'm not crazy about this leaf, but the flower is really fine. So we're going to give this a cut at an angle. And you want to give it a really wide angle, as you can see when I do this. This is more surface that can take water into the stem. Some people like to do this with flowers, with especially a rose because it has a sort of a woody stem, which allows it to let more water in. So we're going to do that. Now the, uh, the Gerber daisy has no green, so you don't have to worry about this. And this has already been hardened off. Sometimes when you get Gerber daisies and they're really soft, you can support them and put them in warm water. And if you do that, the stem will harden up to whatever, however you're supporting them. Another way to harden them off is to put them in your bathtub with warm water and just let them lay in there and the, the whole stem and the flower will absorb water. By the way, this is just uh, lukewarm water, which is the best temperature. You can do it a little bit cooler, a little bit warmer. You don't ever want really cold water. Okay, so let me just quickly go through these flowers. And as we go through, here we go. Here's the snapdragons. Now you can see these are nice and tight all the way down, so you know these are fresh, okay? As these... What's are nice and tight? The flowers? These little flowers. These will all open as they go up. It may not open all the way up to here, but these that are, have buds will start to open. Okay. The other thing you want to do is you really want to clean all these greens off that are going to be underneath the water surface. So I'm going to do that, and again, I'm going to give it a good cut at an angle. Now these are greens. These are lemon leaf. These are pretty standard for flower arrangements. Not the prettiest lemon leaf I've ever seen, but they'll do. And I'm, these are woody. So what I'm going to do, you don't have to do these with lemon leaf because this whole arrangement is not going to last that long. But we're going to cut these. I'm just going to show you that that's how you treat a woody stem. And Green that's the flower. same for a uh, rose? Well, it is similar to a rose, yes. But you don't have to do it for a rose. It's, you know, that there's a mixed conversation on that with uh, people who, who work with flowers. This is Queen Anne's lace. This is beautiful. This is nice and fresh. You can see how lively the greens are. They're a dark green. And that's another way to look, is the color of the greens should be dark, okay? Anything that starts to look yellow is going to be old. This is a chrysanthemum. Now, usually chrysanthemums have greens all the way down the stem. These have been cleaned, but I'm going to clean some more of these just to show you. It would more likely look like this. You want to clean all the way. 
This is a little bit of a woody stem, but I, I don't ever worry about these. You know, you can split them if you want. You don't have to. This is a daisy uh, chrysanthemum. Not my favorite. This is a version of, hmm, I can't remember the name, so we'll keep going. But it's obviously very fresh. It's, um, you know, you can see that the leaves are green. They grow outside. A hydrangea, I'm sorry. And this one looks perfectly fine. The stem is really thick. And I don't, I don't want to cut myself. This is definitely a woody stem. Let's see if I can do it this way. You just really be careful. You don't, oh, this one's really hard. So I'm just going to battle my way through this, and I have a nice, I have an angle. I'm going to give it a little bit of a cut this way. I don't know if I need to do that, and I probably will cut it shorter when I put it in the flower arrangement anyway. Another Gerber daisy. Now chrysanthemums are nice. They're not my favorite flower, but the nice thing about a chrysanthemum is they do come in daisies, which is pr which are pretty, and they also are nice filler flowers. So if you want to make a big arrangement and you don't have a whole lot of money to spend, uh, chrysanthemum is a nice way to sort of fill in as a background flower. These um, berries, and I, can't, and I apologize, I can't remember the name of these either, um, you can tell by the greens, they're very, very fresh. And these all have been cut and they've been well treated wherever they came from because they all have taken up a lot of water. When I buy these at the wholesaler, when I get them, all these leaves are very limp, the whole thing is very limp, and you have to really condition it with water. There's another rose. Okay. They weren't very concerned about the greens with roses. Usually roses have a lot of greens and also they have a lot of thorns so you have to pull the thorns out and I just clip them off with my thumb. You don't really need any special tool. They do have rose uh, trimmers you can get that will, or rose strippers, but I don't like those because they, stri they strip the whole stem, not just the thorns off the stem. So now we have our flowers in water, we've cleaned them, and we're going to be ready to make an arrangement. So what I've done, let me just do my last two, another snapdragon, is I've got a vase here, two vases, and so we'll do two simple things. Actually from this bunch of flowers you could do a, a lot of arrangements, but I'm just going to make two today. Another um, lemon leaf. Again, a woody stem, so I'm going to show you again. Just take your knife and crisscross at the bottom. The other thing you can do is you can take a hammer and a really woody stem, like uh, Christmas greens or anything like that, or quince, flowering quince, um, orange blossom, which are, are all springtime flowers. You would take it outside with a hammer and just hammer it onto a, you know, on a concrete surface and really hammer it about this much of the stem to really loosen all so that up. Just two and a half, three inches. Yeah. Okay, and that's that. So we're going to clean this mess up. Good. Now, I don't use this. It always comes. I, I, I just have never used it, so you'll just have to forgive me for that. 